For today's look, I'm using the Natasha Denona Glam Palette, dipping into the shade Blend with a Sigma E45 Max Blending Brush, and I'm applying this into the crease and then making my way towards the outer corner, blending out that top edge towards the brow bone, creating a soft V shape in the outer corner. Just making sure all my edges are super blended. Next, with the Sigma E45 Small Tapered Blending Brush, I'm dipping into the shade Smoke and applying this into the outer corner and crease, adding depth to the shade that we just applied and then blending it into that previous color. You can also use the E45 Max Blending Brush to help blend this further. Next, I'm using a V200 brush from Morphe, dipping into the shade Inner Corner and applying this onto the lid, bringing that shade up to the crease, and then I'm blending everything out with the Sigma E40 Max Blending Brush, getting rid of any harsh edges. Dipping into this nude shade with a V200 brush from the Kaleidos Contour Palette, applying it to the inner corner. Next, I'm using a Sigma E42 brush, dipping into the shade Smoke, applying it to the lower lash line, using the shade Lash Line with a Sigma E06 brush and applying that to the upper lash line, making it a little thicker towards the outer corner and then smoking it out a bit. Adding mascara and lashes. Next, going in with some bronzer. I'm using the Too Faced Melting Bronzing and Sculpting Stick. I'm using the shade Chocolate Mousse with a NYX Cosmetics Foundation Brush, adding it to my cheeks, temples, and a little bit on the nose. Once that's all blended out, I'm next going in with the Kaja Beauty Fig Smoothie Dewy Bar and applying this to my cheeks like so. With the Kaleidos Symphony Contour Trio in the shade Light, I'm using a Huda Beauty Powder Puff in the lightest shade to set my T-zone like so. Next, with the Jones Road The Lip Pencil in the shade Cognac, I'm lining my lips and then I'm going to be feathering it towards the center. I'm next taking a brush and feathering it towards the center. Applying the Black Moon Cosmetics Morning Liquid Lipstick in the center and then I'm going to blend it out a little bit with an e.l.f. brush and then blend it further with my finger, going in with the Revlon Super Lustrous The Gloss in shade Crystal Clear on top. And then that completes the look. Thank you so much for watching. I'll link everything down below and I hope to see you in the next one.